I'm very disappointed. I mean, this hospital is less than 14 years old. And you can see clearly there's not been one, you know, any serious work at maintenance. And with medical facilities like most other public assets, if you don't maintain them, they'll fall apart. So I'm really shocked that if we had a facility like this, we didn't think of expanding it, of improving it, of upgrading it, and we started building something we call Five Star. You know, I'm, I'm really shocked. I didn't realize that so much investment was poured here in the first place 12 years ago. Why we have not optimized them, I don't know. Look at their IC units that were just left to follow. Today, they are unusable. So are there plans to upgrade any of these facilities? Well, clearly, yes. We are, we just, I just talk, spoken to management. We are looking at areas where there's duplication between this facility and General Hospital. Um, you realize that most of the buildings in the General Hospital are very, very old. Uh, we're looking at consolidating the services provided in the General Hospital in this facility. So we'll pull down um, all of those old buildings and then get private investors to now come and invest in state-of-the-art um, uh, what's called in the state of the art, uh, facilities, you know, specialized facilities like oncology, like cardiology, you know, things that, you know, at this point in time, our budget may not be able to support. That's the, that's, that's the, the point. <clears throat> that's, that's what we're trying to get at, such that we begin to deal realistically with this challenge of medical tourism. Um, some of those facilities that people go and receive treatments in abroad, we want to encourage them to partner with them.